Hello reformers and welcome back to 108 Heroes. I am still loving this mod. I have just been a little bit uh, a little bit waiting here for some time. I'm still a little bit injured unfortunately, but uh, yeah, I've been attempting just to ascertain what we're going to be doing in this episode. And basically what I'm going to try to do here is we're just going to kill some sea raiders real quick because what I'd like to do is I'd like to retag our companions. I'm actually going to be doing that uh, after this battle, actually. I forgot to do it right now, which is great. Uh, yes. Yes, that was kind of a brain error on my part, wasn't it? But anyway, point is, there's a victory for us, and we are going to attempt to level up our companions as well going forward. Now, apart from the fact that uh, many of you are being extremely helpful. I really appreciate that. I really also appreciate the support on this series so far. I, I didn't even think that it was actually going to go into a series because initially it's, well, just a special feature, you know? Special feature usually indicates small series or one-off or whatever the case may be, just to bring your attention to the mod because, let's face it, there are so many really, really good mods out there and I can't possibly cover them all in full series. So having, you know, a format like special feature does make it much, much easier for me to highlight this mod, that mod, this mod, that mod, and bring it to your attention so that you can play it for yourself or, well, maybe uh, maybe it will turn into a full series like this kind of has. So <laughs> there is that. So, yeah, it's really, really appreciated, uh, the support on, on, on this so far as well. So... Anyway, what I'm going to be doing is we are going to be hopefully leveling up my, my sword. As you can see, I only need another six kills. And then I should be able to go and speak to the guy that I spoke to previously to make my armor worse. Because, yeah, I, I did actually make my armor worse than uh, than it was beforehand, which is just great. I mean, you know, <laughs> you know me. I do that. I do that. Anyway, there you go. It's level two. Look at that. Ooh, fantastic. So what we need to do is we need to find that guy. You know that guy? That guy that we spoke to, uh, you know, to make my armor worse? That fellow. We need to speak to him, apparently, to uh, level up my sword. So I'm going to be very, very interested to see how we can do that. There we go. There's a little bit of extra experience there and everything. And now that we have completed those quests, we are now able to sell our prisoners for much more than just the default 50. So that's what you need to do, obviously, to uh, to get those extra little bits of money and, and so on and so forth. So we're just going to be taking this and we have a couple of people that are getting along with each other, which is very nice indeed. As you can see, we're still kind of over here. And I'm not entirely sure who it was now. That's the big problem. I think it was a guy that was over here. So I suppose we're going to head over there. But first, I will be changing this to Companions. There we go. Uh, yes, a very imaginative name, isn't it? All right, so it seems like I've been able to find him. Uh, I don't know whether he actually has the ability to do that. As you can see, uh, first grid in inventory. I'm not entirely sure what that means. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I understand. I understand. So basically, you can upgrade things that you're not you're not necessarily wearing just yet. So this guy apparently does not do weapons. He apparently does not do weapons. So that's that's kind of unfortunate. I was actually wait a minute. Maybe mm, uh, let me let me see real quick. Ah, now there we have it. Okay, so I actually found this guy. He was actually fighting a vassal of the Song. And I was actually thinking, oh yeah, let's uh, let's go and help him. And then he actually won. So he just won it and that was absolutely fine. So what we're going to do, which weapon do you want to reforge? First grid. Yes. The corresponding equipment here is Moon Sword. It will take one refined iron ore to upgrade to top rank. Oh. I don't have that. Well, I have now returned back to the original town because unfortunately I could not figure out for the life of me how to upgrade my moon sword. I did find obviously that guy that can reforge weapons, but he requires refined iron ore. And so I went to the nearby town and I purchased some iron bars because I thought to myself, okay, well, refined iron ore is technically a 
iron bar, right? So that that kind of should have been it, right? But it wasn't. And so I thought, okay, maybe I need some tools, you know? So I went to go and get some tools and I returned to him and he still is not giving me what I need. So I don't know what's happening with that. Maybe one of you can shed light on it. Anyway, it seems that you have released Zhen Kuang Shi's knot and you should have acknowledged how to use uh, mind reading. For the difficulties which may be encountered during mind reading in the future, here are some life-saving pills. It may be helpful to you, but the manufacture process is quite complicated, so for exchanging pills, you need to gain points by eliminating outlaws such as looters, riders, sailors, greenwoods, rebellions, black liao, and jing armies. There is, uh, this is also for the protection of the common people. Wish you to always remember it. All right, so press H during mind reading, and then your health will be restored. It is really valuable. Use it wisely. All right, so... Okay. It didn't... Okay, well, I appreciate it. Um, can I speak to him again? Ah! I can actually cast mind reading on this guy? Your sword looks so good. Um... <laughs> Wait a minute. Was I was I complimenting something else? Maybe uh, maybe I was. Anyway, uh, cast mind reading. Oh, security, security. Okay, so apparently I'm not able to uh, to do that. You have 65 scores by eliminating the outlaws. Each 100 scores can exchange a life saving pill. Do you want to make the deal right now? No, apparently not. Okay, so what about the book? What's with it? I lost the book. You lost it. I'm joking. How could you have the heart to lie to me? Okay, well. There you go. We return to him. He's absolutely fine. Uh, unfortunately, I still have not figured out how to upgrade my weapon. Maybe I can find some refined iron ore somewhere else. All right. So to continue the quest that we are currently on, I have found this fellow. He was right outside the town where Hong Jin actually is. And so we're going to just cast mind reading on him straight off and we're going to help him. All right. So we are given a pole arm. Ooh, it's fast. What? His proficiency must be insane to have this much speed. What? There's no way. These guys cannot win. Or maybe they can. Oh, no, no. Oh, okay. I actually lost. Wow. Yeah, th th this guy right here, this guy with the double axes, he's really harsh. Really, really hard. And uh, I guess I'm just going to accompany him for the 24 hours. All right, so we're doing it again, and I don't exactly know how I'm supposed to win this, but maybe we can try something a little bit different here. So I'm going to try and eliminate the ads first. Yep, there we go. We got those guys down. And now this guy has the ability to crush through blocks. If he has an overhead attack, he will crush through blocks. Like, it's just, it's just how it's going to be. So what I'm going to do is instead, I'm just going to continue attacking him like no one's business. Like, very, very harshly. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we actually took him out. Unfortunately, I would have died really, really easily otherwise. Okay, so let's... Yeah, there we go. Relation. 2,500 Liang, and that's actually it. I'm kind of a bit disappointed, to be honest. I actually thought that I might get something a bit better for that. But, oh well, never mind. As you can see, I was ch chasing after him for uh, a huge amount of time. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so I'm pretty good right now. Everything seems to be going quite nicely, with the exception of not being able to upgrade my legendary weapon. As you can see, I have iron here. I also have some tools. But, uh... Hmm. Doesn't seem... Doesn't seem to be working for some reason. Alright, so I've actually returned back to the town because I still... For some reason, I can't find the guy that uh, was actually upgrading our weapon and I thought maybe if I had more iron in my inventory that might make sense but it doesn't seem like that's the case so what we're going to do is we're just going to help this fellow out and oh my oh that was harsh what a harsh start uh pretty happy that I'm able to oh so much damage so much damage let's just continue doing it continue going from this direction and then switch it up a little bit how much damage does that guy take? <laughs> what a crazy, what a crazy. All right, so there you go. We actually did that very easily. There is a tournament going on here at the moment. It might make sense for us to do that as well. Let's speak to him. 10,000. He actually gave us 10,000. That's, that's pretty crazy. Okay, happy with that. And then we have this fellow as well. Uh, he's not, no, he's not the weapon guy. So we're actually going to participate in the tournament then, I suppose. And we'll see how that goes. Three teams with three fighters. I am given a, well, very menacing looking lance. 
And I'm pretty happy that I'm actually using this because if I didn't have this, it might make it might make it a bit more difficult. Let's see if I can do some. Whoa! Slow thrust with it. Very very slow thrust with it. So it is designed 100% for a couch. So let's see if we can do that. There we go. There we go. That's what we like to see. Unfortunately, my other allies have already been eliminated, so it is going to be a bit difficult to finish this up, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe not. If that guy is going to stand there for the rest of the time. Oh. Oh. Unfortunate. That would have been the end of it, you know. That would have been the end of it if I had just been just a little bit more accurate. Maybe we can get him. Yeah, there we go. Oh, actually, it's it's our companion, amusingly enough. <laughs> it's our companion. Okay, so let's continue betting. Four teams with seven fighters. Two-handed? Okay, I'm actually pretty good at two-handed. I uh, don't know how much damage I'm actually going to be able to deal. Yes. Murdered. This one's murdered. That one's murdered. Very, very good. Everyone's murdered. Now that means we can just give up and we can just go to the next round. Okay, so I have another two-handed. Wow, they're really doing me a big favor by giving me two-handed weapons, to be honest, because me having two-handed weapons is basically what I've been using for the entirety of the game so far. So, pretty pretty spectacular to get it. And there's one dead, and maybe I can just kill this guy as well. Yep, there we go. That's done. And now we can go on to the next round. Three. Oh, it's a... Oh, dear. This is a free-for-all. Problematic. Oh, 10 feet of blue. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're very, very special and extremely powerful. So maybe it's best that I don't attack you in the final round. Might make sense. It may, kind of makes me want to pick up her weapons. Maybe I should do that. What does she have? Oh, she has a heavy practice sword. That's pretty fantastic. I, I think it would make sense for me to do that. There we go. All right. You, you're, you're, it's done. It's done, Sunny Jim. It is. It, yep. You're, you're done. You're done. <laughs> that was easy enough. Alright, so now what do we have here? Oh, okay. Two teams with one fighter each. I have a one-handed, but I've been using a one-handed for a little bit of time, so I should be okay. We both have the exact same weapon. And shield combination. Gonna try and aim for his head, if at all possible. Aim for the head hitbox. Does a lot more damage. There we go. Yeah, that's one of our... Uh, isn't that one of ours? No, no, I think that's just the one of the guys, one of the lords. Anyway, two teams with one fighter. Oh, wow. This is really imbalanced, but it's okay because he survived. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe he actually survived that. That's that's pretty crazy. You've got to, uh, you've got to commend him for that. You certainly do. Uh, and then, of course, he's going to block it. Of course he is. Ooh, that was a... I think that was a pretty close... Yeah, maybe not. Wow, he's actually doing a really good job of defending here, and I'm not a big fan of that. Thank you very much. I really wish my horse would deal some charge damage, even if it's just a little bit. I have a feeling he's just very, very close to death. There we go. It was just a regular hired blade. He should have died much, much quicker in my opinion. But there you go. 4,000, 20 renown. Well, 19. And a little bit of relation right there. That's pretty nice. Now, technically, I could join the feast and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm personally not really wanting to do that. As you can see, I... Wait a minute. I had another piece of iron right here. Oh. Okay, apparently I don't have two iron. But I haven't found the guy anyway. So I'm, I'm probably going to go and get that. Alright, so we have a fight against an enemy vassal that actually looted my village. And I'm actually really irritated about this because my village was actually providing me with about 2,000 to 3,000 in taxes every single week. And I thought that was absolutely fantastic because that means that I didn't really need to have any enterprises because the enterprises are not really that spectacular. And, uh, oh yeah, a little bit of an update on the legendary weapon search thing. Basically, I bought a whole bunch of iron. So I basically bought like four pieces of iron because I thought that maybe he would require more pieces to maybe refine the iron into a better version of itself, basically. And uh, that, that's not working. So I, th I assume what I need to do is I need to find some specific blacksmith or something along those lines to provide me whoa that guy has whoa okay yeah i understand to provide me with maybe a, a way that i can potentially 
gain that refined ore, or that refined iron, should I say? Because if he can, uh, if he if he needs that, you know, then I will try to get it for him, of course, in some way. So it's definitely going to be something that we will need to look at. I'm I'm probably going to try and explore the world a little bit while I'm off screen in between episodes and I'll try and see whether I can maybe find a particular blacksmith or something like that but uh, it's gonna be one of those things that is a little bit uh, a little bit difficult to do because it is such a large such a large game I mean there are so many towns and, and things like that in in it that it's just very very difficult to find exactly what you're looking for so hopefully we will be able to do that but at the moment Obviously, you know, we're, we're going to concentrate a little bit more on doing some damage to these vassals right here. Because, as I say, they've raided our village. The, the impudence of these fellows. It's absolutely terrible. Absolutely terrible. They are just way too audacious. Because this guy was running around raiding every single village in the area. And, uh, yeah, by the way, I don't know where my patrol has gone. Where my, where my guards have gone. I'm, I'm going to need to find those guys as well. Because they seem to have disappeared somehow. Not entirely sure why. Oh, my husband? Who's whose husband? Is, is uh, are we are we ten feet of blue's husband? I'm actually unsure. If we are, then that's very impressive. All right, so we are losing a couple of people here, mainly because the enemy still has a leader on the battlefield. This guy right here is still alive. Let's see if I can... Oh, never mind. Our, our Sky Marksman did a fantastic job of eliminating him. And uh, hopefully we will be okay here to eliminate the rest. I'm just kind of sad that I can't upgrade my legendary weapon any further because I could, right now, getting all of these kills, be getting experience for it. So it's a bit disappointing, but I know that someone did actually mention that I can go to those guys, you know, the, the fellow that I spoke to earlier in the episode, and I can get him to upgrade my weapon, but unfortunately I do need that one little bit of resource, and I'm not entirely sure how to get it. So hopefully we would be able to find that out before the next episode. And he did manage to escape, which is kind of unfortunate, but we now get to rescue a whole bunch of pretty awesome units right there. I'm actually going to get rid of the mountain looters, just so that I can take all of these guys, because they are really quite useful. Mountain bandits... We can get rid of the Watchman as well, and I think that's uh, I think that's fine. We can just take a couple more of those, and then we can take all of these guys prisoner, which is fantastic. There we go. All right. Whoa! Actually, an, a better helm than what we were using beforehand. That's pretty fantastic. So as you can see, I actually bought some additional iron right there. Gonna buy. Actually, I'm gonna take all of these helms. This crossbow is pretty nice too. The saber is actually nice as well. So I'm probably gonna give that to one of our companions. Now, I think that's a good time as any to end this episode off here. Next time, I will hopefully have found out how to get that refined iron ore and then upgrade our legendary weapon even further. And uh, then I will probably try to take the fight to the Song because they are the ones that have raided my village. So it's time for a bit of revenge, in my opinion. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.